If you are currently living in Toronto and you are considering your move to Whitby, or maybe even not Whitby specifically, but the Durham region, this here will just show you what it's like if you were looking at moving to Whitby from somewhere like Toronto, or if you're just looking to move to Whitby from somewhere outside of Toronto, uh, it's the same kind of thing that you can uh, just see the differences in what life in Whitby would be compared to life in Toronto. And we're gonna get into it right after this. So you're going to have somewhere like Toronto, which is Canada's like largest city. It is absolutely massive and busy and traffic is horrible. And you have huge skyscrapers that uh, just kind of line some of these main cities on the downtown core. And then you have somewhere like Whitby, which is uh, with still part of the GTA, which is the greater Toronto area, but it is within the Durham region. Uh, leaving Toronto, you would take the 401 and head east. And then you would hit the first, you would hit Pickering, then Ajax. Then you're gonna come into uh, to Whitby. Uh, the main exits on the 401 there would be Brock and then Thixon. Uh, and then you uh, you do have Lake Ontario to the south. And then to the north, you'll uh, start getting into like more of the rural setting of the Durham region. Uh, so yeah, you do have Toronto, which is a main city. And then you'll have uh, Whitby, which a lot of people are looking to move here just because it's that smaller type feeling of a town with all of the main amenities as well too. Uh, you uh, do have Lake Ontario access and full commutability. So if you are looking to move out of Toronto or live close to Toronto, uh, you, you do have that option where you can still work Toronto if you have to, or go down there at your leisure type thing. Uh, but you do have uh, Whitby as a town, which has all of the main amenities that you would need. And it is within the greater Toronto area still, and it's within the Durham region. Let's keep going. The main differences between the lifestyles is you're going to compare Toronto to Whitby. Uh, Toronto is a much more fast-paced environment. Uh, the waterfront in Toronto, there would be no way it would be this dead on a, uh, on a Sunday at the time I'm filming this. And I don't like filming in front of people. So uh, yeah, downtown Toronto filming the waterfront would be something that I'd probably not do uh, unless it was like super early in the morning or nighttime or something where there's nobody around. But uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, like lifestyle is just more fast paced in Toronto. Uh, you have a lot more nightlife going on there as well. Uh, much more things to do. The sporting events, although uh, Whitby doesn't really have much uh, at all, but you are close to Oshawa, which would have some of like the OHL. Uh, they do have like baseball, like rep baseball, stuff like that. But uh, mainly uh, for the, the main like MLB, NBA, NHL, you're going to Toronto for that one for sure. Uh, so yeah, just the, the lifestyle in Whitby. People who are coming here, they're looking for more of that slower paced uh, style uh, where it can be just, uh, you know, not as busy. You have kids, you can come to a place like this and it's not going to be as chaotic. Uh, well, maybe the park during the summer could be a different story. But uh, yeah, so it's not just as chaotic. Uh, you do have waterfront where it's just a great place to come on a fall day uh, to walk. Waterfront trails, definitely something nice to do there as well. Uh, you do have things that get ran here in Whitby. Uh, you have different... <coughs> Whoa. In Whitby, you do have different events and different festivals that do get ran. You have the Rib Fest. Uh, you'll have different little uh, festivals that uh, get put on at the waterfront, uh, the downtown. They have different events that get ran at the public library, stuff like that. So you do have things. It's just not going to be as uh, grand or as busy or as popular as places like Toronto. Uh, so that kind of covers this. Let's uh, just kind of keep going. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but uh, just quickly before we get too far into the video, uh, my name is Brad Gates and I'm a local realtor here within the Durham region. I have helped so many people looking to move here and I absolutely love it. So if you're looking to move to the Durham region, uh, specifically Whitby, I guess if you're watching this video and you want that help, all you have to do is call, text, email, send the carrier pigeon, uh, whatever is easiest for you. And I'm just here to make everything go so much easier. All my contact information is in the description and then also the first comment within this video as well. As you are watching this video, I'm always interested to know why are people considering Whitby as a place to live? So drop that into a comment. If you do live here right now and there are things that you really like about it that maybe I've never covered in any of my videos, uh, be sure to drop that in the comments as well because that would definitely be something that I'm sure a lot of other people would uh, would want to know as well. 
Uh, there are so many videos on my channel, and uh, if you are enjoying them, be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel. That way you're up to date with uh, all the new videos as I do release them. Uh, like the videos and uh, yeah, just all that stuff. Uh, I definitely appreciate that. And then uh, we'll just kind of get back into the video. Sorry again for interrupting, but uh, let's go. This point has to do with employment opportunities. So if you are considering leaving Toronto uh, to Whitby, or you're looking at whether you should live in Toronto or Whitby, uh, one thing to consider would be the employment opportunities. Uh, you'll have a lot of the main jobs in Toronto being in tech or finance, even entertainment with the different, uh, I don't know, recording studios and stuff like that uh, it's not too predominant in Toronto but it is there uh, and then you'll have places like Whitby where it's a lot of industrial uh, manufacturing a warehouse you do have a lot uh, some of the top employers is the uh, in Durham uh, school boards whether it be the Catholic or the public so if you're a teacher uh, you have people who are commuting to Oshawa uh, Pickering or even uh, like the Bowmanville area to go to OPG, uh, GM, which would be in Oshawa. Uh, you do have different uh, finance jobs within Oshawa as well, whether it be through the Ontario government, stuff like that. Uh, so you do have to kind of consider that. Uh, one thing that made Whitby kind of grow a lot over the last few years is uh, COVID and work from home. So those that were having those traditional Monday to Friday office jobs, now we're having where you come to the office maybe once a week. So you're doing that commute, but you do have GoTrain accessibility. So it doesn't make it too bad of a commute either. Uh, so yeah, the work from home has definitely opened up a lot of the people who have been looking to consider uh, moving away from Toronto just because the, the prices in Toronto are so expensive. So if you're looking to buy and you have a million dollar budget uh, in Toronto, you're getting condo in Whitby you can get a house and a lot of people do aspire to that at some point they do want a house a backyard and that white picket fence uh, and yeah being a suburb of Whitby uh, that white picket fence is something that a lot of people do aspire to uh, do people do the white picket fence not really uh, but it's uh, it's a little vision uh, so yeah the employment opportunities if you are looking to move to Whitby uh, just keep that in mind uh, Toronto does have a lot more options available but Whitby does have options uh, also and uh, let's just keep going this point has to do with the housing options. So if you are looking at comparing Toronto to Whitby, uh, a lot of the older neighborhoods within Toronto that have homes like these, where it's these uh, acre lots or half acre lots or stuff like that, where it's older homes on decent sized lots, uh, they're gonna go for multi-millions of dollars within Toronto. If you're gonna compare to places like Whitby, you can get it at like maybe 50% of that price point or a fraction of, uh, so it makes it um, definitely more affordable in that sense. Uh, this here is close to the downtown core. Uh, so if you are looking to move here and you're looking to be close to the downtown of Whitby, you can have options of homes like this. If you go to the south of Whitby, close to the waterfront, you're gonna have uh, newer style homes or condos that are gonna be going up there. And then if you're going to the downtown, this is what you're getting here. If you go to the uh, the middle where you're looking at Thixon and uh, Dundas, you're going to have homes that were built in the 70s uh, and 70s and 80s where it's those two story style homes. And then you go to the north and that's where you're seeing a lot of the newer homes being built now. Uh, all the main shopping, everything like that, definitely on the north end. Uh, but uh, the good thing with Whitby is you do have it kind of spread out. With Toronto, you don't have a lot of new subdivisions going in there just because the land has all been developed and it's being put into condos. So when you're comparing uh, Toronto to Whitby, uh, it's harder to get homes like this within Toronto, unless you have a very big budget, then it's easy. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, it's gonna be a lot of condos or apartments or old semi-detached uh, that are like 100 year old, 150 year old homes. Uh, so again, this was the housing options, keep going. For this point, it's gonna be a big one, especially if you're new to Canada and you might not have a car right away. It has to do with the transportation. So if you are looking at comparing uh, Toronto to Whitby. Uh, so Toronto, the transportation network there is much more elaborate than it is in Whitby. In Toronto, you do have uh, streetcars, you have buses, you have subways. The subways are the trains that go under the ground. So under the, the city of Toronto, you'll have these like subway tunnels and stuff similar to what they have in London, which I think is they call like the underground. Uh, so it's a really good system on that. Uh, and then you'll have streetcars, which are like the trains that kind of go on the roads, but they have tracks within the roads. Uh, and then you'll have the GO train as well within Toronto, which can take you all throughout Canada, whether you're looking at to go on the CN rail or CP rail, CN trains, whatever it is, uh, you do have that as options as well. 
And then if you're going to compare it to Whitby, Whitby has the DRT, which is the Durham Region Transit, and their system is called the Pulse. So you'll have the main is going to be buses. So you do have buses. So if you're looking to move to Whitby, you want to make sure that you're close to a main road, whether that be things like Thixon or uh, Taunton or Roslyn, something that you can get to easily. Anderson has buses as well. Uh, so just make sure that you do have bus stops close to where you're considering living. Uh, that way you can kind of get around until you do get a car, but definitely have it as a goal to get a car because it will make it much easier. Uh, and then also you do have the GO train within Whitby as well, which can get you to Union in about 45 to 50 minutes, uh, which isn't too bad. Uh, there's no express, so you do have stops along the way, the whole way. Uh, so if you are working and you're doing it every day, it does add that little bit to your commute, uh, but it's definitely something that it's good to have that as an option. Uh, so again, this point just had to do with the transportation. Definitely something you can consider if you are looking to move to Whitby or if you're looking to stay in Toronto. Uh, again, transportation, something to, uh, to note. Let's keep going. For this point, it has to do with the schools, whether we are going to be comparing the elementary or high schools uh, to the universities and colleges. Uh, so within Whitby, there are no universities and colleges, so you are going to be reliant on Oshawa, which has uh, Ontario Tech University, Durham College, Trent University, Queen's University remote campus as well. Uh, and then you'll have, uh, within Toronto, you'll have University of Toronto, Humber College, and then you'll have York University also, and then Brampton, Sheridan College. So you're you're kind of close to a lot, but there's nothing within Whitby specifically. And then if you're gonna be looking at private schools, Whitby does have a private school. It's the castle, it's like an all girls tile uh, boarding school, that kind of thing. Uh, they have great reviews on their website and uh, the school itself is absolutely beautiful. It's my favorite school with all, all of Whitby, uh, but yeah. Uh, so in terms of the schools, elementary, uh, Whitby has a lot of great rated elementary schools. So if you're looking to move here with young kids, uh, you can't go wrong with that. Just go on the Fraser Institute ranking website and you'll be able to see based on where you're looking to live, what schools your kids would go to and what their ranking would be. It's very important. You don't want to be going to a school that or an area that has a school that's ranked really low. Uh, but again, the Fraser Institute hasn't been updated since 2019. So uh, there's a lot of years gone by where uh, we don't know what the school rankings are going to be, uh, but hopefully they're updated uh, this year. Uh, if not, it's going to be early next year. I can't wait for that because I got all these videos to do based on the, the new rankings of the school. Um, Whitby itself, uh, I think, was like second in terms of the highest rated uh, within the Durham region. Um, so there's the, the rankings for that too, if you are looking to move here that you're gonna wanna consider. Uh, but again, schools, uh, it's more so area related, not overall picture of everything. Let's just keep going. This point has to do with the recreation and sports, all those types of things. Because if you are looking to leave a place like Toronto that has virtually every sports team imaginable for any of the leagues, uh, and you're coming to somewhere like Whitby, you want to know what Whitby has to offer. Uh, so in terms of rec centers, Toronto has a lot of great amenities that are there. Hockey rinks, soccer fields, baseball diamonds. Uh, they have lacrosse, but same thing as Whitby. They have all of those things. A new popular sport that's making headway within the Durham region in Toronto, uh, mainly due to all of the immigration, it has to do with cricket. So there are different cricket leagues within the Durham region and within Toronto as well. Uh, so you have different sports plexes like this one behind me, Iroquois Sports Plex, which is in Whitby on the south. Uh, is definitely a busy place on a Sunday. Uh, there's four or five or six rinks in there. There's baseball fields, which aren't being used right now. Uh, indoor swimming pools. Uh, there's just a ton of stuff to do. So if you are looking to move to Whitby, you want to make sure that you do have those as options. Uh, I am in Whitby and I actually go to Oshawa for the hockey because there's just a great sports league that uh, is there for my son who is uh, at that whole like Timbits hockey type thing. All of the hockey greats that you'll see, they have their like their Timbit jerseys on at some point when they were like really small. Uh, so I'm at that stage and there's a great league out of Oshawa that uh, we put our son in and he absolutely loves it. And I can't believe for 200 bucks that they charge uh, how much ice time and how much they get. And he absolutely loves it. So that's kind of a, a really good point to, to finish off with the whole uh, sports and recreation. Let's keep going. This point has to do with the cost of living. So if you're going to compare Toronto to Whitby, uh, the main differences will be Toronto is going to be a lot more expensive on the housing, home insurance, car insurance. Those are going to be the main things. If you want to spread it a little bit in terms of dining and entertainment, uh, Toronto might be a little bit higher, but it's not really worth mentioning too much because the rent 
prices of uh, commercial space for restaurants and stuff is high in Whitby, just like it is within Toronto as well. Uh, so you do have, on average, the dining would be more expensive in Toronto, but it's not enough to sit there and have it as a real option. Uh, house prices, what you can get in Toronto as a house compared to what you can get in Whitby, uh, dollar for dollar. You're going to get much more home here within Whitby. Uh, it's going to be bigger and newer. Uh, if you go in Toronto with the million dollar budget, it's going to be hard to find anything in terms of, of a house that you're going to be dealing with with, um, with condos. Uh, if you had a million dollars within Whitby, you can get quite a bit different options, whether it be a bungalow, a two-story home. Uh, yeah, you do have those options. So it's definitely something that uh, you should uh, definitely consider. Uh, so again, this was the cost of living. You're going to notice it to be quite a bit cheaper within Whitby, but it's going to be mainly fueled based on the housing, car insurance, home insurance. Let's keep going. Our final point has to do with traffic and commuting. And so if you are living in Toronto, you know that you have a lot of the downtown traffic that uh, prevents a lot of people from driving because it's just like a little bit of a hassle. Uh, you do have a great transit system in Toronto too, so it's not as dependent. But if you're looking to move to Whitby, uh, you're going to want to know the commuting options. Uh, so the traffic within the streets of Whitby is not that bad. 401, different story, especially if you're coming from Toronto, you're going to be dealing with a lot of heavy traffic the whole way. It doesn't matter if you're coming right from downtown where you got to take the Gardner Expressway to the Don Valley Parkway to the 401. Uh, you're going to be dealing on and off with the traffic stops. Uh, the main one that you're going to hit every time almost is going to be in Ajax at Salem Road where it goes from five lanes to three lanes. Uh, so that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, so having somewhere like a GO train, Definitely makes it a lot easier for getting to and from Toronto, especially if it's on a regular basis. Uh, so it's good on that options as well. Uh, Toronto, uh, is a, it's got a joke going on where Toronto can be an hour from Toronto. Uh, so depending on where you're looking to get to and from, it can take you a long time to go a very short distance. And that's why our earlier option of the transit system is so important within Toronto because it just prevents a lot of uh, stress and uh, uh, a lot of extra driving that you don't necessarily have to do if you're in Toronto and a lot of people like the walkability of Toronto and that's something that uh, would be does have some options uh, if you're in the downtown area then you can kind of walk around if you have to uh, but you're still going to need transit because it's not everything is super walking distance so again the traffic and commute uh, just brace yourself for that one I don't think there's a clear cut winner for Toronto uh, to uh, to Whitby in terms of what's better uh, because when you are on the 401 uh, it's not the best when you are uh, looking to drive through the side streets Toronto is really bad Whitby is uh, not bad at all it doesn't matter what time you really drive you're not dealing with any crazy heavy traffic outside of the 401 uh, so yeah the, the transportation and commuting was our final point well that was the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did be sure to like it comment subscribe all that fun stuff uh, again my name is brad gates and i'm a local realtor here within the durham region i absolutely love helping people looking to move here so if you're looking for that help all you have to do call text email send a carrier pigeon uh, whatever is easiest for you and i'm here to make everything go so much easier i have helped so many people looking to move here and i absolutely love it uh, if you have any questions or comments do drop it below uh, let me know why are you looking to move here you can do anything just drop it in the comments and uh, thanks for watching be sure to check out the other videos and until next time